Cisco Spark whiteboarding in the Spark application. So we just had our big announcement with a Spark board that we just released and that's a really cool all-in-one device that's primarily a whiteboard. It has a 4K high definition video camera on it. It has microphones on the top of it for beam forming to fill the entire room so you could hear everybody. And we also did a big update to the Spark clients and we're calling it Spark 2.0 now. So what I wanted to show today here was how cool it is and what we're doing with the whiteboarding inside of the applications. This is probably my favorite thing that we released with the Spark 2.0 uh, product launch here. So I'm going to show you guys today what that actually looks like. I am in my teams right now and I've got a team that's working on product design. And if we go inside here, you guys can take a look at some of the things that we're working on. So you know, we've had an issue with body bumpers and kids hitting their heads. We came out with this toy gun that shoots fire and uh, apparently that's not too safe. And then, you know, everyone's pretty uh, familiar with these lawn darts. Well, we make those as well. And, you know, a lot of kids are getting hurt. So I'm going to show you guys here what well, we're going to go in here. and I'm going to create a new whiteboard for body bumpers and try to solve this problem here. So, you know, here's the issue and let's go in and create a new whiteboard and we have this little waffle uh, thing at the top here. We can click that and this brings in all the Spark 2.0 updates here. So I've got my files right there, the people inside this room. I can actually hold meetings inside this room now and send out calendar invites for it and then the whiteboard. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the whiteboard and I can create a new whiteboard or I could have a list here of all the whiteboards that we've previously done. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say new whiteboard. And at the same time here, guys, uh, I'm going to pull up my iPad, which I also have open in this room right now just to show you what this looks like. Because um, when you're drawing, drawing on an iPad with a stylus or uh, maybe another Windows device, this is probably the easiest way to draw. You can obviously draw um, on your PC or your Mac using the pointer, but uh, it's a little bit, little bit more difficult. So on the iPad, same thing. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to my whiteboards and I've got my latest whiteboard here. We're going to go to that one and now we are co-sharing a whiteboard session and let me blow that up so you guys can see it. So I could say, okay, well maybe for a better experience and less injuries, we need to add a helmet to this. That way kids don't, don't hit their heads. So what I want to do here is I want to create a helmet. Okay, it's going to be a square helmet. Um, that way it kind of goes along with everything else that uh, the product looks like. And here's the cool part. I can actually pinch and zoom in on this image that I just started creating to get a little bit more detail. And maybe I want to change the color here. So we're going to have all my um, bump outs in here. They're going to be filled with air for the kids so they, so they can bump each other in their heads. And you know, hopefully everyone's safe. We're going to have maybe a little cutout for the face. And take a look here too, guys, because when I'm drawing here in real time, it's updating on the Spark application for my Mac in real time. This isn't where I have to like lift up the pen and then all of a sudden it starts, it draws on the other side. This is actual real time. So if I start drawing, take a look at how quickly this actually shows up on all the applications. And this would go for everybody that's logged in and, and in this space right now and drawing with us. And you know, you guys can see here, there's my new helmet that, that we created. Maybe we put a little Velcro at the bottom here, little patches to attach it to the base of this unit here and we've got our new helmet and to show you guys too that it works the other direction I'll just do a quick drawing so let's say I'm on my PC now and I want to do a quick drawing over here in the corner uh, you can see what what that looks like right there and on the iPad I'm zoomed in a little bit I can zoom back out move this around and that way you can see everything right there so you know tons of use cases and everything for this um this is again probably the coolest thing that i that i've seen on here i do a lot of network diagrams and drawings on here and then we can actually go ahead and we can post this now in the room so if i say post snapshot now this will get posted into our spark room there and anybody else that's part of this team can come in and maybe they've got a better idea for for this board they can say hey 
or this uh, this helmet, I can come in here, click it, and say, oh, you know what else we should add in here? Um, you know, maybe we should add a mohawk for some reason on, on the top of it. Well, they can come in here, edit it, post it back to the room again, and then we've got the updated whiteboard just below it. So, you know, again, really cool what we're doing with this. Um, I'm going to start doing a couple more videos on Spark and what else we've, we've come out with on the 2.0 client here. Uh, but please, if you guys have any questions, just post in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.